my name is Carl. I'm a library assistant from the Long Beach Public Library. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make these cool nebula in a jar crafts. If you haven't already signed up for the summer reading program, go ahead and head to longbeach.beanstalk.org and sign up. If you have signed up and you want to get credit for this activity, go ahead and use the code NEBULA in your activity challenge tab. What you need for this craft, you probably already have in your house. You will need a jar or container. It needs to be see-through and the size doesn't really matter but i am going to tell you that the bigger the jar is the more you're going to have to fill it so the more activity with that and the more materials you're going to use obviously so keep that in mind um, you're going to need a straw or a stick to sort of manipulate the cotton balls into the jar you are going to need cotton balls you're going to need food coloring or if you have it watercolor um, glitter or glitter glue and of course water um, the first step to this is you're going to take your cups fill them with water um, and then you can go ahead and put food coloring into them um, it doesn't matter how much water is in the cup because you're going to go ahead and eye how much you're pouring in here anyway so for this one i'm actually going to use gold and i'm just going to fill it and remember that the color is going to be soaked up so if you want a really dark pigment you want to go ahead and put in quite a few drops of food coloring or watercolor so once you have all your cups lined up with all the colors you'll be using you're going to open your jar and you're simply going to pick your first color okay so i'm going to go with this deep purple and i'm going to pour in using my eye we want to have enough liquid to sort of give us a base, so around there, and that's probably a little less than half a cup for this jar. Then, my next step is to take my cotton balls and sort of give them a stretch. I don't want them to come apart, but I do want them to, max, to soak up the maximum amount of water in the jar. So I just want to get them a little bit bigger and a little bit more cloud looking, because that's going to create your nebula shape. And you're going to drop that in there and you're going to do that to another one and you're just going to keep dropping your clouds in there until it is mostly covered you can put them in there one at a time or you can put a bunch in there then you're going to take your stick or straw whatever you're using to manipulate your cotton and you're going to give it a shove on down there and again you're going to keep adding cotton balls until most of the liquid is soaked up. Not all, just most of it. So, here's that. And you're just gonna smush it down, try to make sure the cotton balls are soaking up as much liquid as they can. It's okay if you poke it and liquid comes out the top. Goal is to get the colors to mix but not to overwhelm each other. We're trying to make layers, so. And we're gonna do this whole process again, thinking one more layer for the purple, and then we can add our next color. And again, they don't have to be stretched out to the max, you just have to be, this helps you with time, making sure that your um, and material to making sure that your cotton balls cover as much of the jar as possible. Okay, so I think that's a good start. I'm going to go ahead and move on to our second color. So, um, before I do that, I'm actually going to use my glitter glue, and you can do this with just regular glitter as well, but I learned that if you make use the glitter glue, you can get that glitter to sort of stick to the glass in certain places and it has a nicer effect. Not that regular glitter won't stick to the glass, it totally will, but this was just, and it was fun to do, so. I'm gonna put a layer of glue first for my glitter. Then I'm going to choose my second color, which is this amazing red. And I'm gonna do about another half a cup. And then I'm gonna start putting in my cotton balls again. This is a really cute and easy to do craft and then they make great gifts you can put them on your desk 
Um, a lot of people can never guess that what they're made out of, um, so they wouldn't guess just regular cotton balls, but that's the trick. Don't be afraid if you get, you know, the layers mixed or you have one lower. Again, the point really is to um, get the colors to mix, but not overwhelm each other. That's how you get that cool wavy space look. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add um, some more paint. Um, I'm not going to add gel and, I mean, glitter between every um, layer because then all you would see is glitter on the sides of the, of the glass. So you want to use the glitter um, probably sparingly. And the layers can be different. I'm going to add a little more blue to this one. Um, so you can add more water, less water for certain colors. Um, really make it your own and sort of experiment with it. Um, each one of these jars probably takes um, a bag and a half of cotton balls. So just make sure you have enough on hand. And you do want to do it all the way to the top because you don't want any of the colors shifting or anything that you put in there moving. So you want it to be jam packed in there when you close the lid. Okay guys, so this is what the jar looks like after a couple layers. Um, as you can see, the colors are blending nicely. Even though we started off with a deep purple and then the red, they sort of mixed and then we made a deeper purple with our blue and then you can see our gold. On this layer, I probably will add some of my other straight up glitter, not the glitter glue because you want to have more than one color of glitter. Take me at my word, the more glitter, the better. Um, and then I would just add my next color on top of that, which I think is going to be this dark red and the glitter will flow in it. I'm going to do probably about another layer just like that. And then I'm going to add more, um, more, um, Cotton balls. Okay. Okay, once you have it to where the top would screw on and you wouldn't be able to see anything else, you can go ahead and close it off. Just like that. And voila, you have your nebula in a jar. Now as this dries and the water moves, your nebula will get more and more nebula looking. Um, as the water inside the jar dries, they will get a tad bit darker. As you see, we kind of have this really deep, dark space one, but they stay cool and, you know, they can go into any jar you can find. I found this light bulb jar at the 99 cent store. So any old jars you have lying around that you can see through, this is the perfect craft to repurpose them. Thank you guys for joining me. If you don't remember, my code is NEBULA for those of you who are doing the summer reading challenge. For those of you who aren't, I encourage you to go sign up today. Have a wonderful summer. Bye-bye.